Hi everyone, it's Mora Viva and Shoko. Today I'm going to be reading to you a story called Dovi and the Surprise Guests by Goldie Golding. This story is about a little bear named Dovi who was really eager to have some Shabbos guests. Enjoy the story. Dovi and the Surprise Guests. Dovi and his family love to have guests over for the Shabbos meal. One Friday, he looked a little upset as he put down the telephone. Ari the lion just called, he said to Debbie. He's sorry, but he won't be able to come for Shabbos. He just came down with the chicken pox. They tried inviting other guests, but everyone seemed to have a place to eat. Well, said Dovi sadly, it looks like we won't have any guests this Shabbos. Don't be sad, said Debbie. We still have time to invite someone. Speaking of time, she cried, pointing to the clock. It's almost Shabbos. I better start cooking. So she took out the pot and began to make cholent. First, she put in a piece of meat for Dovi, then some potatoes for herself, and plippity plop into the pot went a handful of baby lima beans for little barrel bear. Too bad, said Dovi. There will only be we three, Debbie, barrel bear, and me. If we only had a Shabbos guest... Don't be so doubtful, said Debbie as she put on her coat. We still have time to invite someone. She grabbed her purse and ran out to do some last minute shopping. Soon she met Careful Cove. Did you hear the news? Asked Careful Cove. Bashful Boyish became a daddy. His wife just had a baby. Hmm, thought Debbie. I wonder if Bashful Boyish has a place to eat the Shabbos. And before Careful Cove could swing away, Debbie ran off in search of Bashful Boyish. Mazel tov, said Debbie when she found him. If your wife is staying in the hospital, would you like to be our guest this Shabbos? Bas Bashful Boyish face lit up. He was so happy that Debbie invited him since he was much too bashful to ask for himself. But are you sure? He asked in a very tiny voice. Sure, I'm sure, said Debbie. There's always food for one more. As soon as Debbie got home, she ran to the kitchen and flippity plop into the pot went a handful of kidney beans for Bashful Boyish. Meanwhile, Dovi was in the den cleaning for Shabbos. He didn't know that a guest was coming. If we only had a Shabbos guest, he was thinking. Tap, tap, tap. Someone was pecking at the window. It was Yoni. Yoni, said Debbie, letting him fly in. What brings you to this neck of the woods? I'm singing in your neighborhood this Shabbos, said Yoni. Would you like to be our Shabbos guest? asked Debbie. Yoni chirped happily. Are you sure? he asked. Sure, I'm sure, said Debbie. There's always food for one more. Soon as she shut the window, Debbie ran to the kitchen and plippity plop into the pot went a handful of pinto beans for Yoni. Meanwhile, Dovi was busy vacuuming. He still didn't know that the guests were coming. If only we had a Shabbos guest, he was thinking time it was getting late, Debbie was setting the table when she heard knocking at the front door. Knock, knock. It was Grumpy Gamal. I'm so happy to see you, said Debbie. Please come in. But Grumpy Gamal didn't look happy at all. Something is wrong with my refrigerator, he grumbled. Now I will have spoiled food for Shabbos. Naturally, Debbie wanted Gamal to eat a delicious meal on Shabbos, not a spoiled one, so she invited him. Would you like to be our Shabbos guest, she asked. I wouldn't mind, said Grumpy Gamal, but are you sure? Sure, I'm sure, said Debbie. There's always food for one more. As soon as she closed the door, she ran to the kitchen and plippity plop into the pot went a handful of barley for Grumpy Gamal. Meanwhile, Dovi was upstairs giving Barrel Bear a bath in honor of Shabbos. He still had no idea that the guests were coming. If we only had a Shabbos guest, he was thinking... Now, it was getting very close to Shabbos. Debbie was in the kitchen preparing chicken and kugel for Friday night. Dovi was taking a shower. Barrel Bear was in his room picking up his toys. Suddenly, there was a screech, then a crank, crank, followed by a honk, honk. Debbie ran out to see what it was all about. There was poor Peel. He was having car trouble again. I'll never make it home in time for Shabbos, sobbed poor Peel, and he burst into tears. Don't cry, said Debbie as she handed him a tissue. You could be our Shabbos guest. Are you sure, asked poor Peel. I'm sure, said Debbie. There's always food for one more. 
She ran into the kitchen and plippity-plop into the pot when a handful of potatoes for poor Peel. Debbie stopped to think for a moment. Then she took an extra handful of beans and threw it into the bubbling pot. You just never know, she giggled. She quickly took a shower and got dressed. Good Shabbos, said Dovi as he hurried off to shul. Oh no, thought Debbie to herself. He left before I had a chance to tell him about the guests. Finally, it was time to light the Shabbos candles. Debbie covered her eyes as she lovingly welcomed the Shabbos queen. It was peaceful and quiet. Soon the guests began to arrive from shul. They helped to set up the, all the chairs. As they waited for Dovi, they closed their eyes and enjoyed the smell of tomorrow's cholent. A few minutes later, in came Dovi with a surprise. Good Shabbos, he said to Debbie. He was beaming. In shul, I found a Shabbos guest. Good Shabbos, said Debbie, smiling sweetly. I have a surprise too. When Dovi opened the dining room door, he just couldn't believe what he saw. Around the table were guests and guests galore. He laughed and laughed so hard that he flippity flopped right onto the floor. Dovi's heart brimmed with happiness, thinking how lucky he and his family were to be able to share their meal with others. There's no doubt about it, he said. This is the best way to enjoy a Shabbos meal. He and I hope you enjoyed this story and I hope we can all have Shabbos guests again real soon and we can all be together again from Moraviva and Shoko. Have a great day everyone. Bye!